How's work on the computer going? Huh? Um, I thought you were trying to fix it. Oh, that. Uh, yeah. Check out this story I wrote. Oh, my. Is it like your Christmas story? Not at all. There's no orphans in this one. Good. It's all about my exciting adventures. What adventures? My adventures navigating the perilous graphical user interface. You... you what? I'll read it for you. Great. The fell chimes rang and the frozen light bloomed, searing away the darkness of the liquid crystal lattice. Iconographs thrust themselves into view, their meticulous labels scratching out meaning from the sea of marching binary calculations. With a laconic flourish, an abyss opened up before me, demanding a declaration and affirmation of my identity. Reluctantly, I once again prostrated myself before the machine, and attempted to apply the alphanumeric string required by the initiatory ritual. Wait. It took you all that to say you logged on to the computer? You're interrupting the story, and I haven't logged on yet. It took me a couple of tries. I don't see why it's always such a struggle for you to log on. Your logon is ridiculously simple. No one knows my login but me. Username. Kapak is great. Password. Yes, he is. Oh no, I've been hacked by the Russians. Only if being hacked by the Russians means leaving post-it notes with your username and password stuck to every terminal. But I wrote it in code. Adding extra apostrophes everywhere is not a code. Hacking. Cracking impossible to decipher codes. I think you've been brainwashed by the KGB. Oh, really? Have you been having sudden, uncontrollable cravings for borscht? I don't think so. But I did clear out all the vodka in the liquor cabinet. Oh no. How do I activate red alert? If you trip the alarm system again, you're sleeping in the airlock. I used the vodka to clean the engine components you somehow managed to spill pasta sauce all over. Stand down from alert, man. He's clearly still himself. I was saving that sauce for later. How many times do I have to tell you not to use vital components as serving ware? But the aesthetic effect on the food presentation is exquisite. Would you just pretend you're in one of those swanky restaurants that's pitch black to enhance your other senses? Hmm, that's a good idea. Do you think it can make other experiences more enjoyable? I suppose it could. Great, let's test it out now on the rest of the story. Capac. Yes, Blitzy? Are you trying to read the story on the screen with your eyes closed? Ah, I was wondering why that wasn't working. Uh, where was I? You were prostrating yourself for the initiatory ritual. Oh yeah. Stealing myself, I redoubled my efforts and correctly entered the secret passphrase, um, eventually. My arrowhead avatar soared across the expanse towards the felled parchment representation of the word processor. Its simplified form concealing the madness inducing terror of an empty page extending infinitely downwards towards a novel publishing deal. I hope you have a really good agent. I reached out with my trembling hands and laid them upon the array of keys. My consciousness sunk into a fugal state and my digits started to dance upon the controls as leaves in the wind. Tiny virtual type bars hammered their singular purpose across the display, forming words and meanings where once there had been none. The fell chimes rang, and the frozen light bloomed, searing away the darkness of the liquid crystal lattice. That's it? You've been up here for hours? That's... only about four paragraphs. Oh wait, this story is an infinite loop. I told you I was in a fugal state. You can't hold somebody accountable for their actions when they're, um, fuging. That's not a word. I don't care what kind of fungal state you were in. Splitsy? What? Uh, how do I save files again? Ugh.